not in love anymore, perhaps falling out of love and signs of an affair just seem to be popping up everywhere. Is there many relationship issues? Are you thinking that you need relationship help? Is there any best relationship advice for you? Are these causes of are there causes of inf infidelity that you just just can't get a grip on? Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And good morning to you. You can see the sun creeping in this early, beautiful, hot day today. I just love these kind of mornings. But you know, relationship help, what you may do when falling out of love and signs of affair are just popping up everywhere. If if talking things through doesn't go very well for you, then it might be time to speak with a best relationship advice expert or professional who knows how to handle delicate issues such as this. By the way, as you're listening to me, in the description area down below here at YouTube is an access link to some free content that I urge you to check out. It's The access link is called Heal Relationship Now down below. I hope you'll take advantage of that. Previously, I discussed more about other helpful free material online today on the internet to help sort through relationship issues, especially where feelings of not in love anymore seem to be the struggle. You know, keep things between you private. The less input you get from biased sources, such as well-intended family and friends, but misinformed most of the time that they are, you know, the much easier it will be to resolve the aspects of your relationship that should be resolved in a correct way. By the way, you can read more on this at my blog on infidelity in marriage and surviving an affair. Is relationship the answer? Should you, should, should, is, should leaving the relationship, excuse me, the answer, you know, or should you stay? And the link to that blog article is in the description area down below as well. Now, you might have to click on show more to expand that area open here at YouTube. But when you've talked about things, when you've talked about things like feeling that you're not in love anymore and, and feel that you both are ready to begin seeing a relationship counselor, if you do, make a list or or take the one you've already made, if you if you haven't made a list and you already made a list, and take the one you've already made of things to talk about to the counselor, even if it's an online counselor, which many are helpful today from the comfort of your own home. You can discuss these things through various sources on the internet. The relationship counselor or marital therapist will help you both sort things out and keep and keep everything in a better perspective, a better point of view. They, a, a relationship counselor that is a true professional understands the right questions to ask and what buttons to press to get you thinking and to keep the conversation heading in the ideal direction. A relationship therapist will provide you some exercises or some homework, if you will, to teach yourself the art of communication outside of his or her, his or her office while you're in the comfort of your own home. It's all understanding, and if you're seeing changes for the better and you're seeing things from both sides instead of simply on your own, then perhaps, you know, you could stop thinking, I need the best relationship advice, because maybe the best relationship advice that you've already received is working and everything's going well, and that's the whole idea of it, right? So you most likely need to consult with a professional in a marriage or relationship counseling who is a professional in marriage and relationship counseling who specializes right there. So he knows how to help you get over that hump if perhaps you're having that feeling that you're not in love anymore. You know, a lot of times, you know, the answer can come pretty quickly. Should I leave or should I stay? But it's all understanding what's going on within you. I mean, within you, within your heart. But you also need to look at both sides of the relationship issues. Perhaps, again, that you're not falling out of love. If your understanding changes and you're seeing things from both sides and being open-minded, maybe it's just something else that's making you feel like you're not in love anymore. You know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of psychological hurdle to climb through that a relationship expert can help you with. I hope this made sense to you. And by the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I hope that you're thinking a lot about your own life and the natural inner beauty that is just needs to be reflected to the material world to enhance your life situation. I wish the best for you in life and love. Until next time, God bless.